blank and the pressure because the blood wasn't circulating right so you wake up with a swollen ankle and you wake up and you go oh shit my ankle swell up the first thing in a one of them will be a walk of mind that jesus christ them give me big foot why you think them give you a big foot because i saw your program you are fucking obi walker because naturally it's because of how you were sleeping and the blood wasn't circulating in your foot so when you put your foot down all of that blood tried to go to a place where it couldn't get to so it ends it going to call a swelling and it's going to cause pain can i hope anybody will be here that's what your program your programming no i've said a common headache is because you over excite your brain and the brain waves i send pulse and shock and blood pumping and too much activity are going on and the brain overload and give you a headache you are not programmed for that analogy so you are programmed lord them i work for me you see your yeah, blood clot wicked you have a dead believe kill and believe cure them are wicked you see that's how people are is all your program so you see somebody where you see abuse people that was in their program when them small most men will try abuse people them probably get abused when them the young them mama they eat them and them family member they eat them call them the born ugly and them never born to the criteria of the family and the family always i would have said me wrong like how you feel my blood clot wrong go and go program yourself over here Cause them, them program you. So go program your blood clot, mama. Like, all right. That one I named Toe Tag now. You see it? It's a batty boy that. Whoever know Toe Tag, shoot him and tag him. He's a batty boy from your program. Cause your family, them used to finger you from your little bit. Suck out your dirty mama. You're a batty boy. You never, you never get loved as a, as a child. You see it? You see how a little fish just jump out of the water and try to jump over the page and don't know say a guts, you get guts fish. You're a batty boy. And anyone of your friend them and anybody will know that person eh, just know say you just figure out say I'm batty boy that in a real life. Serious talk. Them a fish from them blood clad one to seven. When you see them turn fish, them was fish from then. There was tadpole from then. Don't make no mistake about it. There was tadpole from then. Nobody thinks say, oh, uh, society make them did that. Some of them look a batty boy. They when you say, oh, they them a batty boy because somebody in them family molested them when they was child. Touch, touch, and finger, finger them. Don't make nobody trick you. Psychology is ninety percent of knowing. And psychologically. If you see, we are talking about knowledge and wisdom, and you see somebody come up with them, an embatty thing, jump out. You know, she said, I want batty boy that we was abused. Because the conversation is not of that nature. So, once you see somebody come and jump, you are reason with somebody, and that you don't, you don't learn to observe things. If you are reason with a friend, a family member, somebody, and you see them just and jump the gun psychologically you are you are trained to say that person is illiterate they're not illit illiterate actually they're illiterate to that level that doesn't make them illiterate they're just illiterate to that level that's freedom level him is just a batty man and him see a man attack on a profile and him batty does jump go suck your mother you will get Bullet. Cause left our gun. You see it? Psychologically, that boy was touched. 
and wasn't by an angel. People cannot angle the truth. That's why when you are reasoning, you see somebody, I try counteract a natural reason where it's commonsensical. That person is someone who is fucked up. Any time you reason with somebody, you reason facts and truth, and the person got angry, that person is angry because their programming didn't contain the knowledge and wisdom that yours has. So hence, you that think them illiterate, and I illiterate them illiterate. Them just program from A to B. You program go to Z. So if you are talking about C, that person is going to get ignorant because they don't know about C. They only know from A to B. That's why when you accuse people, you got to blood clot the whole alphabet from them. And then a lot of them living in denial because it's factual. If I am cursing you and I am telling you something, I never not curse. I just attack about one, two, three, four, five, six. But you only know chapter one to two. You know, sister, when me reach chapter three, I last me last year. You see it? And the reason why you get lost because you, that wasn't in your program. You never programmed cha chapter three in your mind. You only program up to one and two. So you don't know what three, just like grade one to grade two. You know grade one to grade two. Media grade four. Oh, the fuck. You not gonna know where I go on grade four because you don't reach grade four yet. So that's why I made just a tell you, say, I owe them proof. Them bad mind. Them grew up in a household. I be a bad mind people there. Be a grudgeful people there. So they can't help themselves but to bad mind you. And they can't help themselves but to try hurt you or harm you. Because that's how they were programmed. Yeah, a real truth. That's why you have some brethren who fight against some brethren. You have some brethren who kill them friend. You have some girl who envy them friend. You hear me? No, come here talk the truth. You think, say, I just stood at a person, the bad mind. No, the person, the bad mind from them was one going to, to seven. All right. A girl will love her belly and a boy will love him belly and them greedy. Where you tell me, say, that person is now 31 or 28. You are telling me, say, oh, a last year that person get greedy? A last year that person love them belly? No. That fucker was a licky licky pitney from them from him small. Or she small. You understand? You manifest what you were programmed. You understand? So if you're a jovial person, a happy person, that was in your program. You was, you was coming from a happy place. If you're miserable and ignorant, you have some man with dark because he never grew up with love. He never have nobody for love and care for him. You have some girl, them pretty and look good and them can't keep a man because that girl, they never grew up loving a man. You have some girl where, um, me and a lesbian, but me do girl. That's a confused bitch. Some girl where you say, I hug up on them girlfriend and be like, oh, babe, that's my babe. Me not talk like a party and she just hug up her friend, you know, like, that's my babe and them hang out and them. Me not talk like actually think. Say, that's a fucking disturbed child. She grew in a disturbed family. Somebody, when, while she was getting programmed, somebody fucked up and put that in her program. Me not ask her, but tell me a blood clot, tell you. Because the way you live your life now as an adult, that in your programming from you were small. 
you just not know because you was so young and tender you yeah, intake so much programming that you never know who did do that or if it did really then in your program it was in your program so when you see some of them like a batty boy the outer road we are talking about oh you know say a people make me say so them are fish from them dinner them programs somebody fish around them them get programmed from them blood clots man that's why you don't make your picnic go around certain people because you are programmed them them that you are programming stage and if you allow your child your kids to go around somebody who have an ulterior motive while you're programming that child that also embedded in the program that's why you're not supposed to allow your kids run any or uh, any body some of the people them eh, will turn out to be fucked up people them never know where that come from because they were too young when the programming are gone so like say for instance, a, a girl where she can't feel she don't know if she's a lesbian or she's a lesbian. She, she bisexual. Look upon this. Fear family is not bisexual. And nobody in her family is not bisexual. Right? So you wonder, where she get that? Oh, I, I probably when she go college or when she go high school or the friends that she keep now turn her into bisexual. No. When she did younger, her mother probably left her by some friend and the person is that type of person and that child was going through that programming stage at the time and that person embedded the program in the fucking little girl without the parents knowing because she probably left the mother probably left her over the people in the yard because the mother trust these people and thought these people were friends and yeah baby sit there for me one of the person over that yard is fucked up and they fucked up and that program end up going at the fucking program so enough of them big people here where you see are the fuckery them never know where that come from and them i say oh that come like one time i talked to one girl and she said she don't know why she does love girl and me I tell her and she say you know you're probably right me say you need to go do a work of research if you might can't find it or you might not find it but you need to go follow back your family trait because your family program you know and the community where you come from you are programmed as a child in that community me program with manners and discipline you know but me also program why you think me cause so much bad word my mother a christian now but my no, my mother cost the most bomba blood clot when me I grew up, you know. My program in a community, Kingston 13 way. Miss Gurley, Miss Brown, Miss Shirley, them. You understand? Me program with a community that's a loved community. Kingston 13 is a loved community. And when the youths them start get bad mind and go enron and Raiden, you know, but me program from some decent people, so to speak. So me, me somewhat decent. You notice me not look like a bad person. You notice, oh, me care myself, me articulate myself. Like you never see Mataran look like a a coot or like a criminal because me not grew up my tender age before me go a foreign. Me never grew up in an environment where me inner needs are in a want. Anybody who know Little of Antony from where I me at Kingston 13 can tell you we are, we are ghetto superstar. A foreign clothes we wear. So my, my programming was that. My all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I saw them born, you know. But remember, as I said, your programming is from baby stage to like seven. So, you're not born with bad mind and them something there. Are you programming? 
while you were programmed uh, oh yeah raise the tender age of your life why you think some people not like share because some people grew up where when the, the parents give them something and if them have a sibling them didn't want to share and the parents while the programming stage are going the parents didn't tell them that no share with your brother the parents probably was one of the parents say allow them make them stay with it so that child not sharing and if you grew up as an only child your programming are going to be very intense because you now grew up with siblings you understand you see the only child them you notice only child always have a blood clot superiority complex and them always have a complex as a big person a only child there's a lot of only child on here where on a group as only child and if i'm wrong you can tell me say i'm wrong only child always tend to grow up in a world where they think they can do it by themselves they think they don't need people help from time to time and that was in their program because they were the only one being programmed at the time they didn't see a sibling getting the same program so only child have a tendency to go back to that only child mentality and from time to time they say it without even noticing like for instance somebody just put i'm an only child you know why you say that that was programmed because we would not know if you was an only child actually you say it. you know why because it's in your program as somebody just, Marsha just said, they echo the truth without knowing a only child does things that a child will grow up with siblings would not do. And when you talk about, um, it's, um, Bridi, Bridu, or you want him, that's how you feel like, think deep. Remember, say, a psychology, you know, think deep. I'm not ask you, a child who born with siblings and grew up in a house with siblings when them a big person yes them can act loner yeah we, we know that everybody can do that but deep things that that sibling child is going to have a sense a brotherly love if when them a program them and them brother and sister they live good And if 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 them and them brother and sister, why you think some big man and big woman grew up a fight over land and kill them them brother and sister over land and, and over family wealth? When they were growing up, the family was a grimy family. The father and the mother and the grandparents them grow them grimy. So when them get programmed, them get programmed for bad mind their own siblings. That's why no for them galia would have grew up and. And uh -uh, set up them sister for dead or them brother for dead. Because when them are grow, them grow grimy. You have enough only child, them grow independent. That's why only child always have that sense of independence. Anybody where is a only child, pa yaso. Anybody where is a only child, pa yaso. You grow up with that independent. And you also grew up with that special love. You see, only child, even though they didn't have siblings, they grew up with a special love because they were an only child. So they had to, while they were programming, they had to make up. All right. See, somebody who is an only child, yeah? Um, so how um so how read tips none of that need my glasses ask her and she and she will tell you even though she was the only child at some point in her life she had to program a self-program her subconsciousness while you are program 
her subconsciousness also program itself. So while your family are program you, your subconsciousness is also programming you. And an only child is programmed to be independent by the parents or whoever growing that person because you're an only child and you didn't have a sibling. But at the same time, while that child is getting programmed, they also had to program an imaginary friend, an imaginary brother, an imaginary sister. You understand? So, only child has to program within a program. That's why only child, Onaga always said them spoil. Because at them alone. So the, when when the when the ties, the ties didn't have to share. But them grew up amongst other people who have brothers and sisters, but them not have a brother and sister. So a only child is what you, you would call a special person now. As a you as an adult. Only child are normally special when they become adult. Because you only look on one side of it. You only look on the side and say, Oh, two of them alone, then get everything with them they want. But psychologically, they didn't get everything that they wanted. They wanted a brother. They wanted a sister. Yeah, Greenwich Town, yeah. A only child wanted a brother and a sister, you know. But you were of siblings. You was blessed with siblings. They weren't blessed with siblings. So they had to make believe siblings. That's why only child can play by themselves. And if the other kids them in the school don't want to play with the only child, a only child wouldn't have a problem. Because during that age of programming, they also program an imaginary friend, an imaginary brother, an imaginary sister. So you only look on the very spoiled part. You only look on the spoiled part. So them spoiled because the parent gave them everything because they were own one one half. But they also had to program themselves. They also had to program. So they went through something that you didn't go through. But you never think about that. And you never understand why them acts so are spoiled. Because that person had to make a make-believe family, a make-believe member of the family that wasn't there. You didn't have to do that because you didn't have some picky picky head sister and brother. See? So, you have to understand all of these things. And it goes fathoms. It's deep. So, don't make them program you fucked up. You understand? You have a program. And when you get program. But with me, when them that program me, God intervene and just say, hey, um, me no want to do that. I me no want to do that. I me no want to do that. I want to do that. And so, my program one different way. That's why I move so. I'm different. But it's different. You see me? So, There you have it. No, as some tell you, say, no for them boy and girl when you see with them diploma and them something and them bachelor and them something, that them, them can't chat to me because them not really understand life. Me programming up, but me program on a different cycle. You understand? Me is a Martian. That's why I think outside of the box. I think different from the average person. The things them that run through my mind will not run through the average person's mind because me just different. And you have a lot of people who are different like me. You see me? Only child syndrome is a real phenomenon. Yes, Privy. And when some people are big people like we, adult like we, all when they are adult like we, they, did, they didn't even know. I didn't even notice that. Oh, shit. I know that me I said all right, let me show you, say, program. Let 
Let me show you a program, Brivy. I'm going to show them how simple programming is. But yet still, it's eccentric to a whole life. But you never expect it to be so vital to your whole, whole being. What's the difference between a bastard child and a child were born in a wedlock, out of wedlock? What's the difference between an outside child and a child were born with both parents? Big difference. It's a big difference. You think it's no difference? It's a big difference. You just think it's no difference. It is a big difference. And guess what? You see, the big difference came from when. They were a child. So somebody put it there. Limited love. Where going, Jackie? Buzzer, buzzer. It's a big difference. But you marry life and you're you all right and you grow up and you live with it. So you want to see the difference. It's a big difference. A child was born outside and the child was born in the kingdom. It's totally different. Whether them turn out good or bad, up to them. But they totally different. Can look on this. A child was born in a wedlock tends to get a hundredfold love. Not Saying that the child were born outside don't get the love, you know. But that child will never get that sense of balance love. Them somewhat get balance love, but never get balance love. Because, all right, say you're born with your mother and your father. You know, she said, you wake up to mommy and daddy. And that chi child always have a choice. Always wake up to a choice. For the tender part of them life. So it's a different. You wake up to, in the middle of the bed, right? And you jump up in the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did it occur to you that you can either chuck on mommy breast. Or jump on daddy and play in a daddy ear. Or try pick out him eyelid and push your finger down his nose and up and or you could do the same to mommy pick out mommy eyelid you see it because that child grew up with options the child outside grew up with a different set of options is either that child grew up with Missy Daddy today and Missy Mommy tomorrow. Or sometime if daddy come and sleep over, that child get every now and then, depending on the relationship on the outside, that child gets to see mommy and daddy occasionally. But the child who lives with mommy and daddy always have that option of mommy and daddy. So Mommy and daddy can play good cop, bad cop. When that child is upset, that child can go to whomever they choose. If that child gets cool from mommy, she can run go to daddy or him can run go to daddy. Or if him gets cool, vice versa. And if that child come in and feel sad, 
that child still has an option of going to mommy or daddy or go to both. A child on the outside don't always have that option. If Nafawe grew up as single in a single homes where we grew up with my mother or we grew up with my father. If you feel sad and want to talk to something, talk about something with your mommy, you don't live with your mommy, you live with daddy. So you have to wait till you see mommy. But a child who grows up with mommy and daddy, they get a different love. It's a balanced love. Not to say that the child who grew up with the mother lived down the road and the father lived up the road. The father loving Pitney and the mother love the Pitney. So the Pitney get the father love and she get the mother love. Or him get the father love and the mother love. But how much time does that child gonna get it on a continuous level? A child who grew in the house with mommy and daddy, they grew up with that continuous love. Not to say that the child where outside don't get the same love. You get the same love, but you don't get it at the same time. So it's like, um, for make it easier for some people understand, because some people don't understand basic analogy. All right. May I give you a thousand dollar? See? I'm going to give you the thousand dollar one time. Or, I give you the thousand dollar when I give you two hundred yesterday. And today, I give you fifty dollar. And tomorrow, I give you a hundred and fifty. And then the next day, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. It's a big difference. Okay. So don't think it's. You understand? So if you if you have um two different it's two different polarities that where 